I think evangelism is a long-term thing and I really believe it's got to have strong foundations. So for many years I've been working within the primary sector but I knew that the next step was to try to break into the secondary sector. So I spoke to Captain Andy and Hannah Seal and they both came up with the idea of having a drop-in session. We wanted to reach the kids and the idea is that you offer them something for free. So we give away hot chocolate, uh, juice, so they just come and enjoy. But it's a space that we're providing and it's a safe space. What we do then is set a platform where people feel comfortable talking to someone who's a Christian, for example. And then in that conversation, that building a relationship with them, we pray that we sow a seed of faith within them. And that might not germinate for years to come, but at the end of the day, the seed has been sown. Whether somebody has found that spiritual connection through this process, I'm unsure, but I would have thought that it's made them reflect, it's made them think. You break down barriers, you make that connection with them, you build up relationship, you build up trust, and from that then questions can be asked and discussions can arise. It's a wonderful tool to use, great fun. It's a way of getting over the gospel message in a, in a nice, simple way. It goes right across all ages, whether we're young, whether we're middle-aged, or whether we're elderly. We all need the Lord every day. And with the puppets, we have an opportunity to put that message over. The puppet show is exciting, it's different, colorful. It gives the children a connection with the church. The children um, had seen it uh, advertised. I thought it would be a really good way of getting the kids to come along to a fun event with, within the church. It was a really nice, simple way of putting across a wonderful message. I always remember everything from Jesus from these puppet shows. It's more exciting, more fun, and it says a lot in 30 minutes. You learn a lot in 30 minutes. Here we are today offering something. As well as the good news of the gospel, we're offering a bit of fun and trying to, to, I suppose, to win their hearts and to get to know them and to get to know what makes them tick, what they worry about, what we can help them with, um, and hopefully to, to try and, you know, help them to see, to see what we see in Jesus Christ. Evangelism comes from the Greek word evangelion, which means good news. The job of the church is to be that good news. I think it begins with engaging with the community. So that might be through a tea party like the one you see today, or it might be through our Food with Friends event, which is a free community meal. And people come along. Um, people may say at the beginning, well, I'm, I'm not worried about the gospel bit, I can close my ears. But they hear the good news. And what we see from that is that they begin to ask questions. People might not necessarily have the faith in the first instance, but I think for the volunteers, they can share the love that they have for Jesus and sharing it with those people. And we can see growth in the church as a result. This is about actually providing something where they can come and talk to us and have um, some sort of conversation with people, that there's a real community spirit um, and that they, they know that they can join in other things that the church is doing that are like this, where people can enjoy themselves, have fun, but also get to know what our church is all about. My impatient other one at the Nessa, my cow with a and dog, the money mint, man and young. On Hivid, with my bobble with an end of the other camp, a fair they seem land of egg loss. Demo the age that came in a gossip and I think see it on connect with the old age of the bet and a egg loss. I would in dog and a gossip at a tidy egg loss. Sanctuary Urenu am y gymuned cenhedaethol a thyrfwyd dwy flwydd yn ahanu'r nôl. Mae'n egen Sanctuary 2 Gwynedogaeth i Thain i Griw. Ar un nefo, dyn ni'n dwy lawr mynyn i'r farchnad ffermwyr pob bore ydy llun. Ac wedi'n yn ail, 
Dyn ni'n gweithio efo tyli oedd. Just yn gofyn y cwestiwn, sut allu ni newid y newyddion da? Wrth ddod yma, oedd ni'n eithaf debyg o gennym ni'n lot o problemau. When we first came, it was a little bit awkward to start with because the farmers thought, well, what are you doing here? Are you checking my sheep? And they thought it was something to do with trading standards. But gradually, over the weeks and the months, um, then, you know, we've become a presence here. I think evangelism is spreading the word and spreading Jesus' message. But I think initially, we've got to gain people's trust and we've got to make those relationships and we've got to love those people who, who, who we're serving. We've had a lot of problems. We went down badly with TB. John was so supportive and the, and the team. They sort of like, I tried to put you at ease, saying, well, you know, it, there's, there's more, something else around the corner and you can do this and you can do that. You can turn your hand to anything. Just gave you the confidence that you needed really to carry on. It's all about relationships. And by deepening our relationship with God, it has given us the extra skills we might need to be able to relate to other people. We're getting to know them, getting to find out about their lives. And by doing that, and then building their trust with us, in time, we find ourselves in situations where perhaps you can share your faith. They get to see a side of the church, a side of Christianity, um, which we are normal people. And, and we are not, as they say, Bible bashers or anything like that. We are just normal people and, and I think to some of them it's a shock. We're here at Pride Cymru in the heart of Cardiff, uh, celebrating with the rest of the LGBT plus community uh, Cardiff Pride. 25 members of St Augustine said they wanted to be here at Pride today to say that our church is welcoming, inclusive, affirming and welcoming people regardless of their sexuality. We believe that we should be wherever people are, showing the good news of God's love for everyone. I was really excited to be part of a church that wanted to have a presence here at Pride. Inclusion is everything at St Augustine's. Um, everyone is welcome at all times. God loves each of us exactly how we are. He created us exactly how we are. And we don't need to change in order to be a part of his world and for him to be a part of our world either. We have to be, as churches, loud and proud in order for LGBT people to understand that they are welcome in our churches. So it means that we have to be noisier about our inclusion than we ever, ever have been. So that just people know that they can come, that they're welcome and that God is for them. To be a part of the LGBT community, Pride Cymru, a much, much wider community, and, and see the respect growing between us for uh, what we do in a from a faith perspective um, and, and what they're doing from a kind of celebrating and being proud of who we are perspective. Uh, it's, it's fabulous. We're having an afternoon tea, which involves a lot of remembering from the old days. People who come can look at pictures, feel slightly familiar, and it gives a chance for them to air their memories as well. And in doing that, we reach out to the people with, with dementia. Um, some of them actually come to the church occasionally. Others we meet in our visits to the day centres and, and, and old folks' homes. Mae'r eglwys am gyfnod gohir wedi bod yn canolbwyntio ar wasanaeth ar y sil. A dwi'n meddwl bod o'n bwysig cael chlaw ar bod ni'n treulio mwy amser allan yn y gymuned na gyda ni yn yr eglwys. Oherwydd allan yn y gymuned mae'r bobl. Ac um, neu gallu sy'n grys dydy ewch i gohydd i'r efengil. Wel, da ni'n cyhoeddi i'r efengil i'r sawl sydd wedi cael... Uh, wedi cloed i'r efengil. Um, a wedi cofreidio i'r efengil pan da ni'n siarad yma. Um, allan yma nam eisiau cofreidio uh, pobl newydd ac uh, rhannu'n newyddion da. I think it's vital that a church is for the whole of the community, not just able-bodied people who can march here on a Sunday. And it, It's for everybody. We as a church want to show Christ's love, and that's what we aim to do. He is the vine, we are the branches, and we're reaching out out there to our community. Mm -hmm.